Next time, use a rope. He lived fatherless for 35 years. Before he was 10, his mother abandoned for better life of vagrancy and hallucination of meds, turning her heart into stone. A path he later chose for escape was success. In struggles to survive, he lost an eye as well. The light was further dimmed. One evening, they found him groaning like a bullfrog under a hedge, but it's hot with red hairs. I met him coming from hospital. We laughed about his rotten appetite. He said, laugh was biased. I said, next time use a rope. You won't fail. Mm -hmm. Two nights later, a school watchman found him dangling like a mess cop in a hard roof. Mm -hmm. Family and friends put him deep in a hole. Identity. Listen here, identity. My name was given to me by my parents before I came, and after birth, a note was bound with my toe. My parents called my name, and my heart beat. But I was a human before an ID card, and after I went to sleep. My identity is not my passport, not my name, not my land, not even what I write with my own free hands. My identity is not my color, not my size, not my language or my character, not even my prize. My identity is not my dental filling, not my eye color or my hair, not my fingerprint, my job or my salary. My identity is different. It separates me, separates me from boys and girls. It separates me from twins and unnatural toys. It separates me from religions. Politics and class are given to me on my document of birth and my testament at last. This identity was given to me by the state to control where I am, even when they find me paying no toll. My identity is my life. Are my children, are my parents, are my friends, my identity is the promised land.
as you lay before me, dead, on such pallid rest, on those passive lips of thine, not one kiss I pressed. Did you wander looking down from some higher sphere, knowing how we two had loved many and many a year? Did you think of me strange and cold when I did not touch? Even those reverent fingertips that I'd loved so much. Oh, when last you kissed me, dear, knowing you what you said, take this my last kiss, my beloved, for soon I shall be dead. Keep it as our solemn sign for our love's long night, until we meet again on some morning bright. So I give you no caress, but remembering this warm upon my lips, I keep your last living kiss. Did you receive the postcards I sent you? Did you see how beautiful Amersfoort is? It is a quiet <coughs> and serene place. Even though there's no quietness in me. It first, it first started with loneliness and then it grew to something unrecognizable. I do want to come back. I long to return like all those who have returned. But I am shaking with fear. I must first extract myself from the hole I dug myself into. The people there have been nice, very nice. But it's still not home. I still remain a foreigner. I can never be truly part of them. Dear Lutan, you will come back, won't you? Dear Lutan, yesterday I was walking at Ondelis Vrue Square under the shadow of Long John. I told you about Long John when I sent you the postcard. I am tortured by the balls that come from the second highest tower in the Netherlands. Yesterday I was walking under the shadow of Long John when I saw a swallow. One stray swallow doesn't make a spring, right? Then today, then today, I saw a whole flock of them in Konjani, the swallow. I know exactly where they come from. They have flown from your world. Some of them must have seen you, must have even built their mud nest under your eaves. It is April, <coughs> your autumn. Our spring. The swallows have flown for thousands of kilometers in just one month. Remember the swallow song we used to sing? <coughs> The swallow song have never made sense. The black swallow, it flies in the sky. The child is crying. The ex is mine. What on earth was it all about? Dear Lutan, the swallows have come <coughs> for time. Only to find spring in name. Snow still <coughs> covers the ground. You are going around 
asking people if they killed her. What are they going to do? Tell you? And what if they do? You're going to believe them. What if you do? What does at that answer? It's an answer to what? You keep running around asking questions. You'll get your head cut off. Maybe if you stopped, opened your mouth, and looked inside, <coughs> you'll see something. I didn't do it. But maybe I'm lying. But you've got to believe me. But you can't. But you got to. Because what else is there? And what if I'm lying? What if I did it? What if I killed her? What are you going to do? Kill me? And what good is that? It's not what you're looking for, Tunish. It's written all over your face. It's not what you want. Whatever the S she gave you, it's already yours. Keep it. But it's not going to bring her back. It won't change you into her. It won't change me into her. She's gone. You're looking in the wrong place, Tunisha. Maybe you should get yourself a two-way mirror. See the side of your head, the back of your head. You can dye your hair every day if you want. It's still your hair. <laughs> but hey, what do I know? To you, I'll always be a pathetic liar. I'll lie to you till the day I die. What I'm telling you now is the truth. You don't have to believe me. <coughs> but what else you've got to go on?
I'm fine as usual. What? Pardon? I can't hear you. Just hold on for a minute. You are making noise. I said, you are making a noise. An old man like you crying from pain. Look at the blood. Are you trying to paint this place red? Rubbish. You must have been drunk when you had that accident. Now come on, move it. Move it. I'm sorry, Joey. You know these patients can really drive you up the wall sometimes. Yes. When? Where? Aaron's place. Oh, that's good. We can even go to massages joint. You know I love these sushi beans. They've got a touch of class. Yes, for people like us. That is why all the visiting superstars are taken there for entertainment. The champion Jake Dupree, <coughs> the Millie Jacksons, and some football team directors enjoy themselves there. Even well-known playwrights like the Maisha Mapanyas, the Matumele Managas also <coughs> go there for entertainment. Can't you fall under the same class? Good, you are a darling. What do you think I love you for? Come on, Joey. You must pick me up. Please fetch me. Fetch me, Joey. <laughs> oh, I knew you were joking. Now tell me, <coughs> which car will you be driving? My favorite one. The red car, Gallant. Oh, <laughs> I love that one. <laughs> <laughs> love? Oh, I must go now. To that boring job, you know. Now come, give me a kiss. Oh, just imagine, my soldiers joins. Oh, let's go dancing! Oh la la! <laughs> <laughs>